All right, it's the next morning. It just stopped raining. As you can see, all the ground's still wet. We moved the Tracy rocks over, so we're gonna walk through here. We tied up all the corners and the sides, and then we had to go back. We had forgotten something. Right in between here, see where these little tracks are? There's this cover right here. I just put them on here. I gotta go back and find the screws to go up into here. But we put them on one, two, three, four, five, this will be six. So we got all them on, except for, oh, that's the zipper. Okay, we're good. So we got all that on and uh, we're moving on to the next step now, which is putting in them six screws and then we can start on the ceiling. But we left the instructions out here and they're soaking wet. I mean, soaking wet. So we're gonna have to be dealing with that today. Um, we ain't got much left. This is all roofing right here. We got a bunch of parts in here. Um, still to go together. So all this is just for the roof. Now I know that these thin parts are all roof bracing. They go up and they meet in the middle and that'll be them long pieces, you know. And then all the track will go into the tracks in the sides of them. So all the uh, metal roofing, which is in this cardboard box here. But this is what it's going to look like here. I really like it so far. A lot of people ask, you know, uh, where'd you get it from? This and that. It's really sturdy. It's, it's strong. And, and I'm telling you, it's it's way stronger than I expected it to be. I spent uh, 2900 on it, which is three grand, um, free shipping. And it came here in a few boxes. And I was like, there is no way there is enough boxes here to build that that gazebo and then we spent hours bolting things together like just this one piece we had to bolt this railing onto it had to bolt this railing onto it we had to bolt on the outside up here the the gutter together and then that's one one's connection we had to do that you know eight times and now we've got eight of the beams to go across the top then we had to do the same here on the on the bottom post build them but you know it's I am very surprised with it and very happy with how heavy it is. So the people that wanted to know, I got it from Wayfair for $2,900. It is uh, 14 foot by 24 foot. Uh, not 1900, 2900. Um, so, and you can see, these are all the screws where the roof uh, framing goes together. So yeah, Wayfair, 2900, uh, 12 foot by 24, or 14 foot by 24 foot. And it's, Got the screening and then I didn't even think, you know, I didn't even know when I ordered it, it came with the screening and the curtains. I thought that was an extra thing you'd have to order with it or something. But, you know, I'm very happy with it. So there's the answer. Then question answers all your questions. And uh, no, it is not screwed down yet. Someone said don't put the roof on because, you know, the wind will take it away. I know that. We're going to put the framing of the roof together. And then while it's in, because you have to be square to put the roofing on, the, the timbers. Um... So we're going to have it square today, and then we're going to start on the roofing. And I'm going to leave the panels out of it. I'm not going to screw them in. And that way it's an open top with just, uh, you know, frame rails. And that way, after that, we can go ahead and screw it in. Because now I've got the actual opening of it, and I can see exactly where I want. I wanted like six foot of walkway here. Because in front, this is where you're going to look in and see the couches. You're going to look in and see the table and chairs. And then you walk past here to get to the, the fire pit. Or the hammock and back or down the stairs right there um, so we needed a large walkway here plus when we do it I wanted to put a 4x4 into the ground here and here and have a dock going over to like a floating 12 foot by 12 foot dock right there so I can take Tracy out in her wheelchair and go down out there um, so you know we, we wanted these features open because all this is going to be stairs going over there and then, you know, so, uh, I don't know. Uh, we don't have to, ooh, I just kicked the Y of Tracy. Uh, with my OSHA approved steel toed flip flops. Um, this here, we're not too worried about. It's all just storage stuff. Cause this is where we're doing the addition on from the edge of this over to the corner of that and meeting back. And that's gonna be the last addition to the fish room. There's gonna be a doorway coming through right there from the fish room this way. And then this is going to be one big tank here. So we're putting in a massive cement, you know, footing in here. Uh, so, you know, right here is going to be stairs coming through. The only grass we're going to have is right through here. So we're going to have a the gravel that's coming down the side. We're going to have a walkway coming over to here from the gravel. And then we're going to have the stairs here going up to the, the last part of the deck there. 
and then this here is going to be the wetland filter so it's going to look like that river this way a little bit because the wetland filter is going in here and then you're going to have the tub for the uh, alligator snapping turtle and then it's going to have the river going under the steps overflowing into that river so i just wanted to make sure you know did i want to waste here here's my questioning did i want to waste this last little four foot here and you know have it that way or do i need more room on that side um but the farther over i go the more i have to build in on this you know the cement here because this is not even on the cement but i did want it definitely almost up to the tree it's about a quarter inch away so if i bring this over let's say to here now i'm going to have to build cement out from there all the way over here and over and it's not going to be the exact same color you know because they when they were building the cement they just threw handfuls of the color in there i'm never going to match that perfectly so that's my dilemma and if, if i can get it matched perfectly i'd like to have the cement brought out and over here I, you know i originally told them that i wanted a square deck here and they're like i want you to make a round that that would look so much better and blend in better here kidney shaped over here even and that's what we did and it was cool i didn't think about getting a gazebo and having the post off the side so i would like to have a nice walkway coming in of the same material like you know say four foot wide and then coming over to here uh but who knows one step at a time guys one step at a time um but there's our plans okay now we cleared all this out we moved the tables here condensed this we're going to be using these pipes now these end pieces and these two so we left them on top um we moved the table out of here we're going to pre-build this framing up here on the ground and then we're going to use some sort of something to hold them up and then people will go around and put the screws in and uh <laughs> cross your fingers people let's see if this works okay so we got this far now they're nowhere near bolted together we've got screws in there holding them sort of but they're loose as can be because this has to come up at an angle these all go down at an angle we got to finish the top center pieces here but the instructions were absolute horrid they were horrid instructions they couldn't tell us you know, nothing. We had to go by pictures. I had to go online and get pictures and see. And we finally got it figured out to where we know this is right now. So we're going to finish putting like that corner on there, uh, these two pieces up here, and then we got the center pieces to go down here. But this is the framework for the whole ceiling. And that's going to be on next. But we've been having to work. It's been raining. And we come out here, then it's raining some more. So it's been a pain in the butt to try and get this work done. So we're going to let that go. We've got a surprise for you up here. Brock wants to touch the electric eel. And I told him he can put his hands in the water that it won't shock him. But he wants to feel how the shock is <laughs> to touch the eel. So we're going to go in here and we're going to video him trying. Ouch. Oh. Okay, hang on. All right. We're coming up here to the eel tank. There is Tesla. I don't see no Brock. Where's he at? Okay, he's not out here yet. Let me go find him. There's Brock. We went looking for you. Well, we just had KFC for dinner. Let me see. There was chicken, mashed potatoes. Oh, no, I'm sorry. That's uh, coleslaw, mashed potatoes, uh, mac and cheese, gravy, corn, and biscuits. It was pretty good. But now, I was telling everybody how you want to touch the eel. Yeah. And I warned you not to, but you still want to. Thinking about it. <laughs> All right, well, you let us know if you're going to do this or not, because I want to catch it on film. Okay, we're out here. Ross going to show just how uh, brave he is. There we go, we got the top open. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. You know, there's one more thing that's very, very, very important, Brock. Yep. Did you sign the waiver? Yep, I did sign the waiver. <laughs> okay. You need to come up for air. Move that magnet there off to the corner. There you go. Come on. My phone recording, too. Yep. Oh!
<laughs> What'd that feel like? Oh my god, that was that I, I like all of a sudden right before I touched them, I, I just felt myself I get, I got dizzy and I felt myself lock up and I was like, oh shit, I can't come back from this. And he just jolts the shit out of me. I just locked the fuck up. I didn't even know what I didn't even I I forgot I just forgot half that encounter. <laughs> Here's your it phone. Was, it was all. It's all good. You got it recorded. <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> Let's close up this lid. <laughs> well, guys, you've seen it here first. Brock is the first one to touch the electric eel. Unbelievable. That was fun. Unbelievable. Well, guys, that's it for our video today. Hope you enjoyed it. And... Uh, you know, I, I thank God for all these crazy people that hang out over here all the time. Because <laughs> I ain't doing that. <laughs> so you guys have fun and stay fishy, my friends.